Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Myrtle Beach for putting on this great tournament, and um, everything's been first class. I've been around a lot of um, tournaments, ACC, Pac-10, um, been around all of them, and this has been first class, and I appreciate all the effort that the Big South and Myrtle Beach has done to put this on, and, and the College of Charleston, I mean, um, Charles, Coastal Carolina has done it. Um, the one thing I, I think tonight we competed, and we competed hard. That's a very good basketball team. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind um, they can make upsets, but we had to rebound, and um, th that was the biggest thing that we did tonight. I challenged this team to rebound, and that kept us in the game uh, because they out rebound us the last two times, and I think our upperclassmen learned a lot from this game, and I think that our un underclassmen learned a lot, so I think it's going to help us down the road. But the one thing is, you know, we, we were two good basketball teams here, and we competed, and that's what you want to do. What during that stretch prevented you from stretching that lead and kind of forcing them into being a little bit more, you know, hesitant and tense there? I'll answer that. I'll let them too. Um, I think our defense, um, that's something we harp upon, is mixing up our defenses and, and making sure that we force them to do the things they don't want to do, making them uncomfortable. Uh, and that was our goal. We, we did that. Uh, we made them uncomfortable. But a couple of things, their transition defense got us a couple of times. So we regrouped and, and stopped that. And, you know, number 10 came in, hit two three-pointers. That really kind of got them back going. But we never, never quit. I just want to follow up what he said. Um, yeah, we never quit with that. Uh, this game was probably one of our best games that we've had this year. And um, I think we all played hard. And um, we wanted to make them feel how they kind of made us feel whenever we went to Longwood, very uncomfortable. Um, so we did, a, we did a great job with that in the second half. Um, but there were, really wasn't any prevention. It, it just wasn't enough. Well, follow up on what they said. Um, the last two games, um, fast break points has really been a big part of their offense. But um, they didn't really get a lot of fast break opportunities this game was late in the second half they did but we prevented it from like the first in until about like the six minute mark of the second half and I, I think the one thing that we stressed too that our bench um, had to play tonight and we're short of numbers but the bench st um, stepped up and I think coming off the bench we had 13 points over that everything in the paint uh, we knew it would be something that would be pretty even um, and I think they scored uh, 20 points out of it and we scored 18 so the turnovers were a very important part and uh, it's always going to be thing. Rebounding is from the heart, and you got to do that. And turnovers, you can't have the turnovers. And I think we, we also stressed the 50-50 ball, loose balls. And we got the 50-50 balls that kept us in the game. But that's a very good team. They're solid. And, you know, I'm, I, I love these players here. And I think they competed. And they're seniors. And our, our next class coming in, they got to understand they have to compete every game, every minute. And I think that's something we did tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the, is the end of the game is very tight. Yep. And you have the ball in your hands. What happens? Um, a supposedly um, charge call. Um, I obviously didn't agree with it. Um, teammates, fans didn't agree with it. But the ref made the call. I just let the emotion, my emotions get the best of me. And that was my fault. But um, can't take it back. And I, and I, I stressed to them um, about it. It's, uh, it was a great game. It was back and forth, back and forth. And if I had, if I was, had to do it all over again, I would get the balls in her hand. And I think she would do the same thing. And that's a, hard, a very hard call for officials. I think they did a great job tonight. Um, and I, I think those officials didn't think this was going to be a tough game. It was a tough game from the beginning. It was a track meet at times. And we're running, they were running, the officials were running, and they're going to make those calls. But again, we have to learn from that. And I think that's something I told Lakeith that at that crucial time, you look at the clock, it's 35 seconds, we get the ball back. They missed a jumper because they, we were really, at that time, I think we had them going. And uh, I think they're going to miss it, we're going to come back down and score. And I'll put the ball back in her hands again um, any given time to do the same situation.
but it's a life um, learning situation, and that's what we just talked about in there. You take basketball, you learn situations in life, and know how to deal with it. I think it was what we expected. Um, it was going to be a fast-paced game. Um, there were a lot of turnovers in my mind. I knew that. Um, I watched tape again. I, I tell these players I watch tape all the time. Got up 3 o'clock last night, watched it again to 5 o'clock, just trying to break them down. And the things that we did, we kind of broke them down. Uh, and, you, and I told them, you got to play for 40 minutes. And we played for probably 39. And that one minute got us. And you have to play for 40 minutes. And I told him, I don't want to go any overtimes. I want to play for 40 minutes, get it done, and play tomorrow. And that just didn't happen. That one minute got to us. But um, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of what they've done this year. Uh, we had a lot of injuries, and they competed. Um, Shay, broken nose, come back, it hits in her nose. Uh, she competed for us. Uh, some players would not come back from that. So I, I'm very proud of the whole team and those that came back from injuries and competed for us. We're, we're banged up. We played with seven, eight players the whole year. And um, I, I'm very proud of them. Any other questions for players or the coach? Anybody thanks, coach. Thank you. Thank you.